Do you think SpaceX can maintain its record of success amidst recent challenges? Let's find out. On one hand, there's promising news about Starship's future in Texas, thanks to the FAA's latest update. On the other hand, Falcon 9 recently hit a snag, marking a significant moment after nearly a decade of stellar performance. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. All right, let's dive into some exciting news first. SpaceX is gearing up to elevate the Starship project to unprecedented heights. They're targeting 25 annual flights from Starbase. You heard that right, 25 flights. Instead of waiting months between launches, we might soon witness two to three flights every month. And this isn't just a pipe dream. It's now officially under consideration by the FAA marking a crucial step for SpaceX's Starship advancement. In their latest update, the agency stated, We are committed to assessing the environmental impacts of all SpaceX's proposals for FAA licensed commercial space operations. They plan to hold public meetings on SpaceX's proposal to increase the number of launches and landings of the Starship SLS Super Heavy vehicle in Boca Chica, Texas. The proposal outlines specific requirements, including up to 25 annual Starship Super Heavy orbital launches, up to 25 annual landings of Starship, and up to 25 annual landings of Super Heavy. The FAA indicated that its review will encompass public safety issues such as overflight of populated areas and payload contents, national security or foreign policy concerns, insurance requirements for the launch operator, and potential environmental impacts. They also announced plans to release additional information about the draft environmental assessment for public review and comment by late July 2024. Following this, they will host four in-person public meetings and one virtual public meeting. Looking ahead, SpaceX's Starship has made significant progress since its first integrated test flight in April 2023, totaling four flights so far. With each flight, SpaceX continues to make strides, reducing turnaround time from seven months to four months, then to three months, and possibly as short as two months, with Flight 5 anticipated for early August. In addition to its impressive launch capabilities, SpaceX achieved a significant milestone in Flight 4 by successfully landing both rocket stages, a crucial step toward their goal of fully reusable rockets. Alongside these launch achievements, SpaceX is making progress on its testing and production systems including the Star Factory, Massey test sites, and a new launch tower. These developments form the foundation for SpaceX confidence in scaling up to 25 flights per year in the near future. While this is a small step compared to their ambitious goal of thousands of launches annually, it represents an important stride in SpaceX's journey to explore and expand beyond Earth. If you support SpaceX's endeavors, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on their upcoming milestones. Now for the slightly somber news. Falcon 9's recent mission on July 11th faced unexpected challenges marking a difficult day for Falcon 9 enthusiasts. The rocket, cherished for nearly a decade, encountered issues during the Starlink launch mission. Launched at 10.35 p.m. PDT from SLC-4E Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, this mission aimed to send the Group 9, three payload, into orbit, including 20 Starlink satellites, among them 13 direct-to-cell satellites. The initial launch proceeded smoothly. Approximately two and a half minutes later, the separation occurred and the booster then successfully returned and landed on the drone ship after more than eight minutes of flight. The booster used in this flight, B-1063, completed its 19th landing, solidifying its position among the Falcon 9 boosters with the most launches to date. 
Following the landing, an image revealed it was slightly off-center on the drone ship, but this did not result in any significant issues. However, the second stage faced significant challenges following separation from the booster. The second stage engine ignited as planned. However, minutes later, experts identified an unexpected buildup of frost on the Merlin engine's cover, visible as a distinct white layer approximately five minutes into the mission. Consequently, subsequent steps, particularly the deployment of payloads, encountered issues. SpaceX promptly issued an update. During tonight's Falcon 9 launch of Starlink, the second stage engine did not complete its second burn. As a result, the Starlink satellites were deployed into a lower than intended orbit. This meant that the Merlin engine failed to position the second stage and payload as planned. Elon Musk also commented, Upper stage restart to raise perigee resulted in an engine rud for reasons currently unknown. The team is reviewing data tonight to understand the root cause. Seeing the frost layer, my immediate concern was a possible liquid oxygen leak, which indeed turned out to be the case. SpaceX confirmed this in an update. Falcon 9's second stage performed its first burn nominally. However, a liquid oxygen leak developed on the second stage. This incident will undoubtedly have significant repercussions. Initially, engine issues during the flight prevented the payload from being deployed as scheduled. Elon Musk noted, Starlink satellites were deployed, but the perigee may be too low for them to raise orbit. We're updating satellite software to run the ion thrusters at their equivalent of warp 9. Unlike a Star Trek episode, this will probably not work, but it's worth a shot. The satellite thrusters need to raise orbit faster than atmospheric drag pulls them down, or they burn up. A positive development for SpaceX is their apparent success in re-establishing contact with the satellites. Initially, SpaceX tweeted that they had made contact with five of the satellites and were working to raise their orbit using ion thrusters. In a subsequent update, they announced, the team has made contact with 10 of the satellites and attempted to raise their orbit using ion thrusters. Certainly those initial signs were small moments of optimism. However, SpaceX acknowledged in a subsequent tweet that they are in an enormously high drag environment with their perigee or lowest point of their elliptical orbit only 135 kilometers above the Earth. This is significantly lower than the intended altitude of the Starlink system, which is up to 340 kilometers. In the latest update, SpaceX decided as such, the satellites will re-enter Earth's atmosphere and burn up. They do not pose a threat to other satellites in orbit or to public safety. The reason provided is that each pass through perigee removes 5 plus km of altitude from the highest point in the satellite orbit. At this level of drag, our maximum available thrust is unlikely to be enough to successfully raise the satellites. In more serious developments, the FAA has announced its intention to launch an official investigation into the incident involving this flight. It remains to be seen how both sides will proceed in response. Looking ahead, this incident may raise concerns about the reliability of this rocket, particularly as it prepares for several critical missions later this month. Falcon 9 is scheduled to launch the Polaris Dawn mission, marking the first private spacewalk mission featuring new spacesuits. Next month, Falcon 9 will continue with another crewed mission to the ISS for NASA, known as Crew 9. This incident marks the end of Falcon 9's long streak of success. The last failed flight prior to this was on June 28th of 2015, during the Dragon CRS-7 mission. Although there was another failure on September 3rd of 2016, it occurred before the flight itself. Since then, SpaceX has maintained an impressive record of continuous successful launches, establishing extreme reliability and dominance in the industry. It's indeed unfortunate. 
SpaceX will now need to conduct a thorough investigation to address and resolve the recent issue, ensuring they are well prepared for upcoming missions. Taking a more positive view of the situation, this mission still boasts several notable achievements. Firstly, as previously mentioned, it successfully landed the booster, further extending its record for landing and reuse. Additionally, this mission marks the 69th launch of the year for Falcon 9, pushing towards its goal of 148 launches. Musk highlighted in another tweet, We are tracking to do more Falcon flights this year than the shuttle did in 30 years the vast majority of which are uncrewed. A major advantage of this super high flight rate is that we can identify and resolve problems that may only occur once every thousand flights. This is impossible on a low flight rate vehicle. This underscores the advantage of a high flight rate in improving reliability and resolving issues efficiently. The recent incident has prompted SpaceX to reflect and take a more deliberate approach moving forward. This pause for evaluation is crucial because prolonged success can sometimes lead to complacency. It serves as a foundation for SpaceX to make even greater strides in the future, following their developmental approach of achieving success through learning from failures. As for us, we encourage continued trust in the SpaceX team. If you believe in their ability to overcome current challenges and achieve new successes with Falcon 9, please leave the number 9 in the comment section to send your wishes to SpaceX. Here's to the next 9 years or more of successful, reliable, and truly innovative rocket launches from SpaceX. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.